just going to talk about the lead star that Zen Kutzadach. Uh, Zen Kutzadach translates as uh, forward leaning stars, and uh, consequently, a lot of people mistakenly, if you could just form Zen Kutzadach facingly, a lot of people mistakenly lean forwards in the stars, and that's uh, one of the worst things you, you should do. So, so uh, let's just um, look first of all at the function of the star. So, um, Sensei Donna here has, has a Zen Kutzadach, so, so as she, as she starts from high stance, a fighting stance, as she drives forward, she wants all of her weight behind her punch. Okay, so, so uh, this long leg here, this, this straight knee here, is locked out. Okay, just step through again, please. Okay, so here, straight knee locked out. Oh, 45 degrees. So why 45 degrees? Well, because this back leg being straight is very important. If she lifts her foot, turns her foot forward, forces her to lift her heel up, and it's hard to keep her, her leg straight. If she turns her foot out fully to the side, this leg goes out to the side and then it doesn't have the driving power behind her start. So we go for compromise position here also. This assists her then when, when she goes to step forward, she turns her, lifts her heel up, turns her foot like this, so now it's facing forward. This is called a plantar flexion, this motion here where she pushes off and this enables her to move purposefully forward without compromising her stance. Now, we're just going to talk a little about the, uh, the stance and motion. So if you, go, if you can just go back four or five steps. Okay, and just move forward and then come to match. So, as we move forward, it's very, very important that we maintain a good posture. Now, most people will, will explain to you that the reason for that is because you don't want your head moving close to the target as you step forward. As obviously, uh, you're going to be stepping in here as you move into, into attack the target. Possibly uh, chasing down the target or launching an attack of your own. So, so a lot of people will say that as you come in to attack the target, you don't want to be leaning in so that your head is closer to the danger. But more importantly, when you move forwards, you should be using your stomach muscles to move forwards, not your back. So when you throw your shoulders forwards, what you're doing is you're using your back muscles here to throw your shoulders to gain momentum from throwing your body weight forwards. But your back muscles here are far, far weaker than your stomach muscles. So you should be training yourself to use your stomach muscles to pull yourself forwards to maintain your posture and then you pull forwards with your combination of your calves and this plantar flexion motion here. So, so it's this stepping, pulling and maintaining your posture motion. So I just made notes to make sure that I don't forget anything. So uh, essentially there are uh, multiple types of examples of that. So this is, a, I would call this a um, keyhole version of Zen Kutsudat, that's the kind of Zen Kutsudat that you do in line drills, say in first kata. Uh, now this is not really a functional stance, uh, it's especially as, as uh, Donna goes to pull herself forwards, it's hard for us to move, okay? The original stance as, um, as used in um, Taikyo Pishodan or in the, um, um, the uh, early Shotokan katas, the stance there as shown by Konakoshi would have been about half a shoulder shorter. Here. So, so this is a more natural stance now, and uh, this is a more realistic stance to fight from, okay? But as a finishing stance, you can do in a full ten cuts of that, that's quite reasonable. So other variations, let's move back to this one. You see this in um in uh Kuyuk front here is a much lower stance, also in um Hangetsu. Uh, when you come to uh, here, Hikui Zen to that, that's a uh, low forward stance. Then there's half, half length version, Han Zen to that, half forward stance. And uh, that can come in two versions, that can come in a, uh, I guess this, this stance is now has almost become Heiko Sanchi in GKR, or Shizen Tai Dach if you uh, study Shotokan or many other styles. But in actual fact, um, this is a, a, a more of a street fight version of a half forward stance. So, so this gives you stability, but it's not a full length as any puts it down. And then um, 
I guess there's the torment version of Panzen Kusudach, which is now the back heel of the floor, the knee more or less in, and that's very, very mobile. So it doesn't have the strength, so it doesn't have this long straight leg of a traditional Zen Kusudach, but it does have the ability here to move really quickly, okay? So it's moving forwards quickly. So there, okay? Um, and I guess uh, that covers the main versions. Now, uh, as we uh, as we form this dance, I'm just going to look at a few common problems. Now, uh, it's, it's a very common, well, I, I guess the uh, arch in the back is one, here, where, where, where you're kind of over tensing your, your back muscles and your back arches. So, I'm going to put in some next, please. Okay, so just really pull them back good. And this arching, this curvature of the spine, this is bad, okay, because it means that you are not aligned with your shoulders above your hips. Then uh, the other one, which I already mentioned, was leaning. That's uh, when you're throwing your shoulders or when you're overreaching to try and get a target. Um, like all rules, you know, these can be broken. Um, these can be broken occasionally, but you, you wouldn't want to just uh, just get in the habit of breaking them. Um, another common problem, if we turn the face of thumb, this angle here, this angle from the knee, the shin here, up to the knee to the hip is called the Q angle. And um, in, uh, in men it's about 15 degrees, and in women it's about 20 degrees. And uh, it's quite common to see people push this out really, really far. So you get vertical here in this plane, and then a very, very tight angle there. That's not a very strong way to, to make the stance. Now, uh, also, uh, when you start to do techniques that come this way across like a block, this knee can collapse in like that into more of a Hungetsu type stance. And again, whilst this is stronger than um, than, uh, well possibly in, in many ways it's stronger than the regular Zen Kusadach to be kicked. It's, it's still not, it's still not the purpose of the stance, okay? So, so when, when you're doing here, you want to just kick your knee out. Now, I, 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 I'm not going to decide this stance thus, so but from here, it's a straight line to the ankle. So, the stance is about one shoulder width wide, about two shoulder widths long in the uh, Kihon version and the weight is pushed forward. So if, if uh, when you step forwards now, you need to be very careful that you don't over rotate. Your intention should be to take the momentum forwards, not to rotate. So even though we do as uh, Gyakuzuki, for example, Gyakuzuki here, sometimes you can have people push this hip in so far that this starts to push out. If you over turn here, and the weight is going this way, this is kind of, you know, the, 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 the momentum of the stance is not forwards. Okay, it can be out to the side or even, even backwards, okay? Uh, I'm going to stop that there now because I think the battery is going to kick out. Okay, so um, to be honest, I, I kind of covered that in, in detail. Uh, Zen Kutsudach, forward leaning stance. So we, we often call it long forward stance. And, uh, the whole purpose of the stance is to eject your momentum or your mass forwards to a target. So here, so, so this stance, very, very strong in this direction, reasonably strong in this direction, quite weak as soon as you move off to an angle. Focus please. Quite weak as soon as you move off to an angle. So weak here, wherever the, wherever the missing leg is, if you imagine this is a four-legged table, wherever the legs are missing, that's where the stance is weak. But here, this is where it's strong. So as Sensei Donna comes to just a finish up, please. Here. So a good way to practice this, especially if you have students, is to get them in a pushing a car posture. So here, as you find a car. Good. There. And that's a really great way to test out the stance. Get the lock of the back leg. Now you can also test it by getting them to put their hands on their, each other's shoulders. Here. And then they have a push of wall. Push. And you have to keep the back leg straight. Push against the shoulders, keep the elbows in that cheek. I'm leaning. Oh, cheeking my posse, okay? Good. Okay, so I um, hope that gives you some insights into the stance, guys.